everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well, wherever you are, whatever you are up to. Um, today, I am going to do a little bit of a different video from the kind of video that I've done before. And I want to give you a sort of tour or show you around the current window display that we have in the shop. And you can probably tell that I'm not in the shop at the moment. I'm in my little sort of sewing office work corner at home. But just because there's so the, the road outside the shop is really busy and the, the shop is busy and the phone's ringing and stuff, there's quite a lot of background noise. So I thought it would probably be easier to film it this way and kind of chat you through all of the things that are in the window where you can actually hear me properly and then I've got lots of little clips that I'll show you along the way to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. So our window displays are designed by Jo, who works in the shop. She's been with us for quite a few years now. And those of you that have ever made it to the shop will have probably met Jo at some point and know how lovely she is. Um, or if you've ordered from us online before, you might have had a little note from Jo. Um, but she, she sort of curates and designs and puts together all of our window displays. She totally loves it. She's very, very good at it. She's, she's meticulous and pays attention her attention to detail is very good and she thinks of all these really really cool little things to do um, so we always love the window displays that she puts together. We don't really have a kind of a very fixed thing of when we change the window, but obviously like when the seasons change, we change it. Um, so I, I don't know, maybe like roughly every sort of six to eight weeks. Um, but at the moment we've kind of got a bit of an interim window that's in. So this is, if you're watching this video kind of into the future or later down the line, it is February 2018 at the moment. And we've kind of got this interim between sort of winter and spring window at the moment it's kind of blue themed um, and we've got a big scrim big spring one coming up in march um, but yeah it's a really lovely blue themed window at the moment um, so this is what the shop looks like from outside but it is very very hard to capture the window from outside i mean I'm, i am by no means a professional photographer or camera woman or anything but i just can't the reflections are very hard to control so I'm going to show you it from inside so that you can see it a little bit better. So when I filmed these videos in the shop this morning, it was really, really sunny, but um, you know, we have got a really big bay window in the shop and it does let a lot of light in. So I thought even though it's sunny and it's maybe hard to get the all the balance of the lighting right, hopefully it conveys how lovely and sunny the shop actually is. Um, but yeah, this is this is the window. Um, we've got three mannequins in it at the moment and I'm going to talk you through those outfits in a bit more detail and sort of give you some suggestions of fabrics that you could use to make the things that are in the window as well. Um, but just to show you a bit more of the detail, so this is a sort of oversized tape measure that Joe made. Um, it has made an appearance in a few windows just because we totally love it. Um, a lot of people ask us where we got it, but Joe did make it. It's just made from calico and she, she um, I think she stenciled on the numbers and, and just made it up that way. It looks really cool. And we've got these um, big scissors and we've got chopping boards that have got holes drilled in them and then um, wool woven through them so they look like big kind of giant buttons and we've got some old sewing machines in there as well so um, there's all those sort of nice touches to it as well and we always, Joe always tries to bring sort of some different height dimensions into the window too because it is just a really big window and you have to kind of fill it um, so we've got the the ladders which just help to add a bit of height um, and then just some some other fabrics around so this time we've put them on bolts so that you can um, just see some of the fabrics a bit better and um, so yeah that's the window sort of all encompassing but if I sort of show you the outfits in a little bit more detail because when I put pictures of it on um, Instagram quite often a lot of you are interested in what the pattern is and what the fabric is and stuff so I shall show you all of that now and um, I've also done a, a blog post which goes with this video and it'll have links to all of the patterns and the fabrics that I'm mentioning so you can check that out um, if you want like more specifics um, on the fabrics and patterns. But the first um, garment, the first mannequin that I'll show you, this is the, on top, this, this mannequin is wearing the Liesl & Co Maritime Knit Top. And this is quite similar to the boat neck version of the Green Line Lark, if you've seen that, and that it's got set in sleeves, um, and it's got, it's got that sort of wide neck to it, but the neckline on this one's finished off with a facing, so it's just a little bit different. Um, and then on the bottom, she is wearing the Pauline Alice Rosary skirt, um, with the patch pockets on the front. So 
for the top, we don't actually have any of that particular fabric left because that sample was made a while ago, but we do have another few different options that are kind of similar and they are stripy as well. We've got this one, which is um, a really nice kind of sturdy interlock jersey. It's like a double knit um, and it's got a pinstripe in it as well. So it's navy with a white pinstripe. And then we've also got this luxury Ponte Roma, which is a black and white stripe as well. And again, it's got a really nice, um, nice structure and weight to it. So they would both be good for that top. And then for the Rosary Rosari, I don't know whether it's Rosary or Rosari, anyway, um, for the skirt, um, we've got the, 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 that sort of deep indigo denim that, the, that we used for the sample. So it's nice and nice and weighty as well. It's going to really help to hold the A-line shape of the skirt. And then we've also got a mustard denim. We've got a flecked denim, which is a Robert Kaufman one. It's a really nice one with the multicolored fleck in it. And then we've also got one that's got a red back to it, which is quite cool. Um, so it's dark on one side and then red on the reverse. It's just something a little bit different. Um, so that's sort of options that you could use to make those um, garments there. And then the next mannequin that I've got, this is the Liesl & Co Gallery Tunic, which unfortunately we are actually out of stock at the moment. We do have it on back order, so it will be back in again soon. Um, but in a quite similar vein to, to it, and that it's, you know, it's quite loose and it's, you know, it's long, it's not really fitted. Um, the Green Line Farrow dress is quite similar. It's got the sleeve options as well. The Farrow does have a center front seam um, as opposed to the placket which is what the gallery tunic's got but in terms of their sort of general shape they're quite similar so we used a lightweight denim to make that gallery tunic um, and we don't have any of that exact one left but we do have this really nice um, lighter weight denim which again has got a really nice fleck in it so it's just a bit more interesting and different and then we've also got this lightweight um forest green one that looks it's got like a limey color in the back it's quite hard to capture it in the light doesn't look quite right in the in the little video that i took but yeah it's like a sort of lime green in the back and then a dark green on the front so they're they're quite lightweight denims so with that sort of fuller style they'll kind of hang into that a little bit better and then the final mannequin that i want to show you is this one here and she is wearing the green line lark tee underneath um, and this is the boat neck version the, the quarter length sleeves with the boat neck but um, as you may already know the lark pattern does come with lots of other options as well and then she's got the classic tiddly in the buttons cleo on top in a lovely denim so again we don't have that exact denim left but the denims that i showed you before for the rosari skirt would also be really good for the cleo as well so you could use um, either of those any one of those options that i gave for the cleo too and then for the Lark tee, again, we don't have that exact fabric left, but we do have some that are quite similar. Um, so the, these ones are a loop back jersey and they've, and they've got, it's a yarn dyed stripe. So the stripe's like woven into the fabric. So we've got it with navy and a mustard stripe and then mustard with a navy stripe. And then we've also got one that is gray with a pink stripe, which is probably my favorite. And I've actually made a lark out of that, which is a sample for something else that we've got coming up in a few weeks. Um, so I know that that fabric definitely works for a lark. Um, so yeah, they're all really nice, nice and soft as well. They're cotton, um, so they're, they're you know they're great nice to wash and wear and everything so yeah that is my kind of summary of all the things that are in the window and then I wanted to just kind of do a little bit of a tour around the shop as well just so you can kind of see um the rest of the shop so we've got one of our fabric walls with the rail built in and then we've got our units that hold all the rolls of fabric and then we've got a new one built um, in the back corner. We've got our second big cutting table, which we've had for a while now. We really love having a new cutting table. And then we've got our pattern wall, which is great. I totally love how that looks. It just looks so colourful. The patterns look great on there. And then our other fabric wall as well. And yeah, as you can see, the sun is streaming in today. It's really a lo really, really lovely sunny bright day um, and then more fabric in the middle of the of the shop as well so thanks for tuning in guys i hope you found that useful if you want to see more things around the shop or you want you know just ask me if there's anything else you want to see in a bit more detail and um, but i hope you enjoyed that video as i said it's something a bit different that i thought i would try just to um 
give you a tour of the window for those of you that can't actually make it to the shop um, and you can just get a bit of the shop as you sit at home um, but yeah remember to hit subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss my next video and you can check out the my blog post which is linked to this video for um, where you can find all the pattern and fabrics that I've mentioned um, and I shall see you next time thanks guys bye